Hello, my name is Paul Nishihira, Application Engineer with Go Engineer, and welcome to another session of Go Engineer's Quick Tips video. In this session, we're going to talk about the application and usage of the SolidWorks feature, Reference Plane. The Reference Plane command is located on our Features tab of the Command Manager, and under this drop down caret of Reference Geometry, we have Reference Plane. Alternatively, we can also use our search command field as well. So once inside our reference plane command, the plane wizard can be used to create a variety of planes using different geometry. Planes, faces, edges, vertices, surfaces, and sketch geometry can all be used to apply constraints through the first, second, or third references. Up here at the top we have our message center which will indicate if we will need to select references and constraints as noted in yellow. If it's fully defined, noted in green, and if the selections cannot be combined to form a valid plane it will note accordingly with the color red. Okay, so let's show some examples of how to create some reference planes. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to exit out of our reference plane wizard. And probably the easiest way to create a uh, reference plane is, let's say I want to make a copy of the front here. I'm going to hold down my control key. And if you can see, I have my little four score arrow pop up. I'm just going to left click, hold and drag and create a reference plane. And we'll make that at two. And if you notice, we have the option to where we can uh, flip it back and forth. Additionally, we can make uh, copies as well. So that would be one way of creating a reference plane. So we'll hit OK. So we have our plane 1 and plane 2. All right. And of course, I'm going to turn on my view planes so that I can see my newly created uh, reference planes as well. All right. So another example is uh, creating a offset distance reference plane. I'll go to my reference geometry plane. For my first reference, it's going to be based upon this face. And let's make this at one inch offset. And again, we can uh, flip it to whatever direction we want to, uh, to position our plane at. And under the message box, we have fully defined. It's easy as that. Okay. All right, so for uh, drawing clarity, I'm going to go ahead and just temporarily hide these existing planes. And I'm going to show you another example of how to create a reference plane using a planar face or plane and an edge or an axis to create an angle. So I'll go to my recent commands, we'll go to plane. My first reference is going to be this face here. My second reference is going to be the edge. And let's say I want to rotate it. Oh, I don't know. We can go like maybe 75 degrees here as a good example. Okay. Of course, we can flip it as well. Under our message box, we're fully defined. And we'll hit OK. Okay, and so for our next example, we're going to use a uh, coincident relationship to create our reference plane. So here again, I'm just going to go to my recent commands, select plane. And for this one, I'm going to select three vertices. That corner, that one, and that one you can see we have our newly created reference plane as indicated under the message box fully defined so we hit OK to accept All right. 
So before I do my next example, I'm going to go ahead and turn off plane 4 and 5 as well. It'll just give us a little bit uh, better drawing, drawing clarity for us. Okay, so for our next uh, reference plane, we're going to go ahead and select a single line and a vertice or a vertex. Okay, easy as that. And then we'll hit OK. And then we have our plane 6. Okay, again, just to uh, clean up our drawing here so that we can view everything, I'm going to go ahead and temporarily hide that. And the next example is going to be a parallel reference. So again, we'll go to Recent Commands, we'll go to Plane, and I'll go ahead and select this surface, and this vertex, and I want to make sure my parallel relation is applied, we're fully defined, green checkbox, and we'll hit OK. Alright, it's easy as that. So let's go ahead and hide plane 7. And the next example is going to be tangent and perpendicular. So here again, I'll go back into my recent commands and we'll select plane. I'm going to go ahead and pick this face up here and this face down here. Okay. You can see that we have our fully defined reference geometry as well. Okay, we'll hit OK. So again, just for uh, drawing clarity, let's go ahead and turn off our plane 8. And the next example we're going to talk about is tangent and parallel. So again, we'll go to our reference geometry. And I want to pick this face and this face. But this time, under second reference, I want to select parallel. We have a fully defined message box. And we'll hit the green checkbox for OK easy as that. Okay, another great example of using reference planes is let's say I wanted to create a reference plane that's at the midpoint from this surface and that surface. It's very easy to do. Let's go back to recent commands and we'll select plane and we'll select that face and that face and you can see that SolidWorks automatically knows that we're creating a midplane based upon these two faces and it's going to apply us apply it right down the center here. Okay, We're fully defined under our message box and then we'll hit OK. Easy as that. Okay, Let's go ahead and temporarily hide this for right now. And I'm going to go into my asymmetric view here. This is a really unique function as far as creating a reference plane. So what we're going to do is create a plane parallel to the screen. So here again, I'm going to bring up my recent commands. We'll go to plane. I'm going to select this vertex right here. And then over in the plane wizard, we have this selection. It's called create a plane parallel to screen. Everything is fully defined. We'll hit OK. It's easy as that. Really great and unique function here to SolidWorks as far as creating that uh, reference plane. Okay, let's go ahead and temporarily hide this. 
and then I'll bring up my isometric command again And last but not least, we're going to create a plane perpendicular at a point. So what I did is previously sketched a uh, geometry here. And I'll go ahead and turn it on right now. And I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, reference plane that's parallel to the, excuse me, perpendicular to this point. So here again, I'm just going to select this point that line green checkbox and there it is easy as that so if we go normal to our right side you can see that it's perpendicular to this line this is Paul Nishihiro with Go Engineer thanks for watching